signs. Okay. Heart signs, I want to say thank you so much for being here. Um, I have to apologize for last month, the month of June, the heart sign reading doesn't come out. And it has to do with, I did the videos, heart sign, three, th four times. First, I did it one time, and then the voice didn't come in second time, third time. My microphone wasn't working four time. I was like, I'm not voicing this over and not doing it. So I have to apologize to you, Earth sign. But here we go. We're having um, this month of July love reading. So let's see what is coming up for you guys. It's for the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I don't like this blouse. This blouse is looking like a little bit weird. It is supposed to be on the shoulders, but it's as if my shoulders. <laughs> so, earth sign, let's go in it. So, what we have for the earth sign, true love is coming in, earth sign. You actually, um, for the people who are members of my channel, you actually have a very good um, love reading. This is so weird, earth sign, but earth sign people had good love reading. The Taurus have to be careful. Snake was there. Woo, chemist. Wow, hurt sign. So, um, so this is the love reading of July for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. If you're not yet a member of my channel, use the link here to become a member. Use the link here um, to subscribe. Use the link here in order um, to um, advise when um, notification. Okay. So I love, love, love your reading. Um, for this July, I was so last month, I was like, no, and it was a um, retrograde. So it was like crazy. So we have, this could be the one. So some of you are in a relationship and you're asking yourself, yes, this could be the one. Okay. Um, this is a very good reading. Cause I remember, ta I remember, um, Taurus have, um, some little enemies, some little snake around you. So you gotta be aware but for um, the Capricorns, you had very good reading because I, I don't see love coming up because this year would be a year that you Capricorn are focusing. Um, but um, let's go Earth sign. Go check out, become a member. You have to become a medium member in order to get the love readings. So what we see here, we see children. And I see with the energy of children, we have true love. So some of you could be getting pregnant for someone whoever this person is this is a true love there's a lot of chemistry you're going to end up marrying to this person and having kids with this person so this is beautiful so if you are seeing someone and there's a lot of chemistry and you're pregnant i see that you're going to end up to marrying this person there's a whole lot of communication um some of you meet someone new there's a whole lot of communication some of you who are seeing someone else I see some of you are going to get married. Um, the chemistry between you and um, someone. So you ladies are definitely going to be asked the ends of marriage. I see you mature men or texting with someone. There's a whole lot of love between you and this person. It could be your child's mother or your husband. Ladies, um, between the ages of 25 and 45, there's a lot of gossip around you. Whatever is transpiring, a whole lot of gossip around you ladies between the ages of 25 and 45 i see some of you men wants to open a relationship a men 45 years and older um 50 years and older mature men you want to open a relationship and i see a whole thing is to, about family so some of you married men wants um an open relationship whatever is transpiring so i see a lot of you um earth sign people are going to be reconnecting with people from past life past loves is going to be returning in your life so um a lot is transpiring so i see a lot of chemistry some of you women are having a lot of chemistry with someone and you're going to get married to this person some of you ladies a whole lot of gossip married ladies or seeing other people i see a whole lot of gossip your friends are gossiping around you I see a lot of communication, a lot of texting going back and forward. It's a good month of love for you, Capricorn, for you Earth sign people. 
men that is married i see you're seeing other people you're in an open relationship and a lot of gossip so be careful that it doesn't get back to your um wife okay so i see an end a transition is going to be coming up some of you find out that you're pregnant the relationship is going to be um going another level where you could be moving in together i see yes so definitely so um if you were just seeing someone you got pregnant i see that this relationship a marriage is in the works so some of you are going to be getting pregnant and there's a lot of chemistry between you and a pisces so i see a whole lot of chemistry between you and a pisces i see the enemy so you young ladies that is married i see that a cancer is trying to invade your marriage so be aware of this so young ladies that is married i see a cancer that is trying to invade your marriage i see um definitely whoever this cancer is they're trying to get your um get your marriage um broken up i see the energy of you guys working um on um if you're in a relationship um with someone but you're not married and you have kids you're working on the relationship i see a lot of you young men or texting communicating some of you young um um people between the ages of 18 and 45 a lot of text message going back and forth um i see a lot of information is coming in a lot of texting back and front this is good whatever is transpiring then i see you ladies 50 years and older i see a whole lot of gossip people are gossiping people are saying things that they're not aware of i see you younger lady are gossiping on a, over a older lady you know nothing um so be um um i see whoever is dealing um with a divorce i see a lot of gossip i see um your partner is trying to use different sort of a way some of you are going to be finding out that uh, um your partner wants to divorce you or your pa partner wants to leave you i see some of you older women are thinking about that there's a lot of conflicts between an older man and a younger man. It's a same sex relationship. A lot of conflicts because um, you want to be in an open relationship. This person wants to be exclusive with you. I see a whole lot of you are finding out that if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, um, this person wants to be in an open relationship. Okay. Some of you were married to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. I see you want to leave this person. Um, whatever is transpiring, I see you want to leave this person. Um, then I see some of you who are married wants to work on your uh, your marriage. Okay, so a lot of you earth sign that is marriage, you want to work on your marriage. Um, you want to um create um like a better connection between you and your wife your relationship so it is a whole lot there's no question um a lot of you are going to get married to a pisces or a lot of you are going to be um meeting a pisces and there is a lot of chemistry between you and the spices be careful i see that an aries and a cancer wants to um create obstacles in your marriage um you earth sign people so be careful of an aries and a cancer I see an end is coming into an Aries and a Leo. So um, if you, um, uh, a Taurus is, was in a relationship with an Aries and a Leo, I see a lot of uh, ending is coming up. Then we see that a lot of you who are married want to work on your marriage and work on your relationship. You're focusing on your marriage or you're focusing on your relationship. You're leaving everything outside young um people between the ages of 18 and 45 i see you want a new start you want to create a stable family for yourself i see whoever is married to an aries or sagittarius person there's a lot of conflicts a lot of conflicts because this person is seeing a pisces cancer or scorpion man whoever this woman is she's a fire sign woman and she's 50 years and older She's in an open relationship and I see a lot of you want to divorce this person or end the relationship. So a lot of you, this woman also could be thinking about ending the relationship with you. So transition, let's see um, the transition that is coming up. But 
whatever the transition that is coming up is going to be positive because this person is true love um transition is coming up where i see a relationship is going to be transferring into a partnership um a marriage and this is good so a positive where um it's going to be creating you're going to be creating a family together so i see some of you who are dealing um with a um aquarians um you're kind of thinking about either leaving or changing the nature of this relationship you are if you were maybe you're finding out that um this aquarian was um is someone you want to go forward with a whole lot of you pisces and cancer i said it um a pisces some of you are going to be finding chemistry like and the chemistries of the chart with a pisces and a cancer so whoever is in a relationship with a pisces or a cancer or dating a pisces and a cancer the relationship is off the chart but he's married and he hasn't said it then we see the enemy the invader in your relationship some of you virgos need to be careful of a Libran. Whoever this Libran is, you got to be careful of this Libran because this Libran is trying to interrupt your relationship, okay? So I see um, some of you Capricorn could be ending a marriage with a Cancer. So I see that you could be divorcing a Cancer. So some of you Capricorns could be divorcing a Cancer. Some of you um, are dealing with an issue um, with a Leo and a Cancer. It's as if you are in a relationship with a Cancer and a Leo is intervening in your world. Um, some of you Tauruses are dealing with a situation with um, one or the other. Um, and uh, a Leo is trying to intervene in your relationship. It's a third party is coming up. A whole lot of third parties are coming up. Then we see that... Um, you Capricorns are going to put a stop. Young people, young people are going to put a stop to a Leo or an Aries. Whoever this Leo or this Aries is, it's like you're going to be text. They're texting you and you're like, hey, stop. Just leave me alone. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Whatever is transpiring. Then I see conflicts so, or I see some of you are standing your ground against a, Plu, a, a, a Pisces and a aries whatever is transpiring you're standing your ground and you're saying to the spices and aries look um just stop irritating me or i don't want you to come any um anymore i don't want you to visit anymore whatever it is okay i see you ladies 50 years and older could be getting married with a pisces or going to be signing some long-term contract deal with a pisces marriage or working together now whoever a young woman i think you know there is a young woman you young people need to, um to keep your information to yourself whatever is transpiring you young women there is a whole lot of gossip you're speaking with your girlfriend and they're gossiping about you so be aware of this now you mature men seems to be in a love triangle okay and the love triangle is consists of an aries a Cancer and a, um, a, a Capricorn. So you um, mature men, you're in a love triangle. And trust me, these people are finding out about each other. So you're in for some surprise in this month. I see a lot of you want a new start. And some of you um, are going to be having a new start. Some of you with a Pisces. Some of you with a Taurus. So I see definitely that some of you wanted a new start with a Pisces or a Taurus. So then we have the energy where I see some of you wants to divorce um, um, a Scorpion because the Scorpion is seeing a Cancer and you want to divorce this person because um, this, this, this is not working and you do not want this third party person in your marriage and I see you're going to be divorcing them. So a lot of you wives are going to be finding out or a lot of you uh, who are married is going to be finding out if um, you're married because um, um, a lot of you are who are married to a 
Pisces, Cancer, or a Virgo, you're going to be wanting to work on your relationship or they are going to be wanting to work on the relationship. So if you are married, um, if, you know, your partner, your marriage partner or your relationship partner is a Pisces, a Cancer or a Virgo, it's a yes, they want to work on the relationship with you. Then I see that whoever is married to a fire sign person, um, this fire sign person is in some connection with a Virgo. Okay. And it can be a Virgo, but it can be a cancer. So whoever this fire sign person is, she's in an open relationship with a Virgo and a Cancer. So you got to be aware because she's seen multiple people at the same sign. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpion man. This Scorpion man is also in a open relationship with a Taurus and with a Sagittarian. So you got to be aware of this Scorpion man that you're in a relationship with because he's in a relationship with um, yeah, a Taurus and a Sagittarian. Be aware of this person and what is going on because this man is playing you like a fiddle, okay? Wake up, wake up. He's playing you like a fiddle, okay? So this man is like 50 years and older. He's playing you like a fiddle because he's seen other people. So be aware of this. He's an open relationship. He's, he's seen other people. So I see a transition, the end, um, and this is what I was saying. Your relationship is going to transit, but transit to a positive. So if you are dating someone, you're going to start seeing the person permanently. If you were seeing another person, they were living somewhere else, you're going to be moving in. So this is going to be good. If you're pregnant, they're going to be moving in. You're going to become a family. So this is good. And this is going to be very, very positive. Okay. But whoever is seeing a Leo, you're ending the relationship because this Leo and this Cancer, I see you're ending the relationship. If you're seeing an Aquarian, you're going to end the relationship also. I see the heart with a key. Definitely a whole lot of person, people are going to be asking the um, ends in marriage. And it has to do with the Virgos. The Virgos are going to be asking the ends in marriage um, the Pisces are going to be asking you to ends in marriage. The Cancers are going to be asking you to ends in marriage. Whoever is in a relationship that the chemistry is off the chart, this person is going to ask you the ends in marriage. Um, coffee meeting new people. You young ladies are going to be meeting new people. Um, but you got to be aware. I see you older ladies, 50 years and older could be meeting a Pisces. Um, so this is good. You younger people are going to be meeting a scorpion or an Aries. So women between the ages of 18 and 45 is going to be meeting um, a scorpion and an Aries. I see some of you who are in a relationship with a scorpion and an Aries. There's a lot of conflicts for you young ladies. You young ladies are going to be finding out that um, an ex-Virgo um, or an ex liberal wants to create some um, issues in your relationship. So be aware of that. Cupid, new love is coming in for you Capricorns. Um, this is an Aries. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Some of you, Cupid is coming in and it's a scorpion. Okay. Then we look at kisses. Um, unconditional love. So... You but your men are really playing the field. God damn it. You're feeling good. You're playing the field. So I see mature men are playing the field. Um, you're seeing multiple people, but they're going to be finding out. And I see you are loving all of them. Wow. But there is conflicts that is coming up. So um, you mature men that is seeing multiple partner, they're going to be finding out. Again, I said wedding bells is coming up. Older women, 50 years and older, wedding bells are coming up. This is twice marriage. So a lot of you heart sign people are going to be realizing that the people who touches your heart the most, you're going to be getting married or asking them in marriage. 
So I see um, you guys are going to be married to wedding wedding ring union with the Pisces. The Pisces, the, the Scorpions, and um, the Cancers. The Pisces, the Scorpions, and the Cancer. I see a lot of wedding bell coming up for you to reunite with this person. I see some of you who are trying to work on your marriage. So if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, with a Cancer, and... Uh, um with a a gemini i see they want to work on this relationship so if you are married or was in a relationship with this person this person wants to work on a relationship they don't want to um, um let go of their relationship whoever is in a relationship with a fire sign woman i see there is not enough love and you're letting go of this person open relationship is the hottest thing on the block in this month god you earth sign people so a lot of you are going to be choosing for open relationship it is hot it is the thing it is what is going on you guys are hitting it etching it off the chart so i see a lot of marriages are on the uh on the problems let's say like that um i don't know if it's me or just the thing it just look really weird and my blouse just look weird and it is like one of my most um tinder blouse but whatever is transpiring past life i see you're not taking one uh, taking back anyone from the past it's as if you earth sign just decide okay the past is the past i don't want to return to the past i don't want to deal with anyone from the past so i see a lot of you earth sign people are just letting People from past relationship, the past is the past. It's as if you're saying, no, it's good. I've seen it. I've known it. I know what it's like, but I'm good. I'm moving on. I do not want to return to anyone from past relationships. So that is good. So, Art Sign, this is such a powerful month for love for you guys. Twice the energy of marriage. Expect that if you're having this hot chemistry between someone else it's just going to be unbelievable go for it um you know close your eyes and go for it i see a lot of marriage like um mature women or mature men is just out of the blue is going to realize hey this person is like my other half i'm going to ask them if you know you know if they want to um marry me a lot of you are going to be finding that people have the key to your heart. Cupid is here. So it's a powerful, powerful month of love. A lot of you um, young women are going to be meeting. People, stay away from fire sign people, okay? Heart signs and fire sign people, even if it feels good in the beginning, it never ends up um, good, okay? Whoever is married to... um. A fire sign woman 50 years and older or seen a fire sign woman this woman is cheating she this woman have multiple partner um this woman is in an open relationship so be aware of this and you mature men you gotta keep it on the down low okay because you're just out there and every is like in the candy shop you're not 50 cents okay so it's as if some of you mature men is hello <laughs> um and whatever you're doing use a condom ladies and gentlemen okay because at this time we don't even know what is happening on this planet it is not the right time to even get in pregnant because you have no idea how what is going to be happening because this is getting serious and serious maybe a lot of people is not aware of that and I know why earth sign people are getting together, getting married and having relationship is because they know just about every earth sign person on this planet knows what is coming up. And I think you are getting um, um, hooked up and getting married and uh, your heart chakra is open, a lot of you. So you're choosing your partner that you're going to be making the shift with, okay? So if you notice this hot, passionate romance that is going to be coming up in the month of July, 
the chemistry that is going to be coming up uh, for you earth sign people is just off the chart because you're you're the vibrational you're the vibrational fix of the energy this is why you always get in these weird relationships because your vibration um ground other people vibration so you always get really connected and if you know you, you always end a relationship with a fire sign but they come back for more you always relate in a relationship with an Aquarian, but they come back for more. It's because you ground people energy. So be aware of this. A whole lot of love is in this month for you, um, Earth sign. So I, you know, my apologies. And if you notice, I do, I pull my card online. I don't pull cards and lay them down. I pull my cards online. So leave a message. Let me know what is happening. I see you are not taking back anyone from past relationship. It's as if it's the past, it's the past. I, I'm looking for a good future. Um, no, no, because it, it's like, no, I'm sorry. Um, it's over. Uh, I let it go. I'm moving on. So whatever is happening, I see you earth sign are really taking a step on. I love you guys. And my apology for last month, but I don't know why the sound didn't come out. Whenever things like that is like my angels and guides to say, no, don't do it. I love you guys. Namaste until next time.